Bye all. So this is just a quick update to explain a little about the podcast so that I don't just vanish without trace entirely. Autocracy Now was the first show idea that I had way back at the end of 2016. I'd been a podcast fan for many years and finally just decided to start podcasting for myself after listening to Mike Duncan of The History of Rome talk about how it changed his life. Over the next few months, I wrote the first scripts, for Commodus, and then the huge behemoth that became the Stalin scripts, and then finally the scripts for Huey P. Long. The Huey Long scripts were finished by the end of the summer of 2017, which means that it's been more than 18 months since I actually wrote anything for this show. Initially, my physics show, Physical Attraction, was going to be a very quick test podcast before launching the longer-term history show. But then I quickly realised that I had an awful lot to say about physics, and I got into writing that, and now that show has nearly 100 episodes and has taken up far more of my time than it was ever supposed to. It came to the point where I was worried that the history show, which I'd finished recording months before, would never be released. So I decided that I can't let all those months of work go to waste, and I started releasing episodes of the show so that someone, somewhere, might eventually hear them. But I never intended to run two shows at once. It's just too much work alongside my PhD, which is practically a full-time job on its own, and other writing commitments that I have in my free time. I could probably try to juggle both of the shows, but I know that the quality of both, and my sanity, would suffer, and I really don't want that to happen. At the same time, there were loads of stories on Autocracy now that I never got the chance to tell. Reading that I did that I never got to use. I was definitely going to do a show about Mao, for example, and another about the Taiping Rebellion, and all manner of other things. Plenty of Roman emperors we could go back and revisit as well. And maybe someday, I'll get a chance to write and record all of those shows for you. I'd love to do it. But as things are, I have to sadly announce that I'm putting the history show on an indefinite hiatus. If I ever get a chance, I will return and tell you all of these stories. But of course, this isn't the end for me as a podcaster, and I'm sure that most of you already know that the physics show Physical Attraction is over at www.physicalattraction.libsyn.com or physicspodcast.com. And if you don't already listen to it, you're missing out. We have interviews with experts, we have interviews with historians, and we go through an awful lot of the history and philosophy of physics, as well as going through breaking news about technology, speculation about the future, that kind of thing. That show is going to continue, hopefully also indefinitely, and I already have episodes ready to go for the next few months at least. So what you all should do, as soon as this little announcement ends, is go and subscribe to Physical Attraction, if you haven't already. Stay subscribed to this feed too, if, let's say when, the show comes back, I'll be releasing episodes here as normal. And of course, if this history show comes back, I'll announce it on the Physics feed, so it's worth being subscribed to that and keeping up with it as far as you can. Finally, I'd like to say it's a strange game, this podcasting lark. I spent a long time researching and writing without knowing if anyone would ever listen. That was fine because I liked doing it and I liked having the project to work on and telling people about these strange, marvellous, weird, awful figures from history. I know that somewhere out there, some of you did listen, and that makes me happy. And for now, it's done. Just another thing someone created living there in the ether, free for anyone who wants to access it. Tell anyone who might be interested to give it a whirl. Head on over to Physical Attraction. And until I return, or until next time, thank you for listening.